<laughs> so how does it feel to be back? Welcome back. Pretty amazing. Um, you know, I'd never expected us to come back, saw the Super Bowl spot, and freaked out. And our, they, uh, suddenly this group text appeared, and it was like, has he called? He hasn't, call, he hasn't called me? He hasn't called you? It was back and forth. All of us. I mean, everybody. So Tim uh, reached out and said, are you ready to play? Let's go. And um, my schedule didn't allow it until a few episodes in, but I'm so happy to be back. It's cool. One of the things people love about I mean, I, I, I have to bring comedy. You know, I did a movie called Big Ass Spider. I can't take any of this seriously. I, it's really fun. I mean, look at Ant-Man. It's a riot. Like, unless you laugh your way through this stuff and show great action, great characters you can relate to, you just don't want to get on the train, man. There's too many trains leaving the station. So if you want somebody's attention, you got to entertain them and make them laugh. I learned that from JJ. I mean, there's moments in everything he does that are really funny. And then, of course, he blows you away with this popcorn, incredible product, you know, that he puts out. And I'm happy to be a, a part of that. Mossy does it in an incredible way. I mean, he really balances the drama and the comedy really well. I try and do it too. When we pick up my character, it's five years later, and I'm doing something and working for someone that you would never expect. So right away people are going to be like, whoa, why, you know, he's a character I love. What would he be doing? Why is he doing that? And then it'll be justified hopefully over the next few episodes. I hope. Because first thing I said to Tim when he called me was, just don't kill me. That's all I said. I'm like, congrats. I'm so excited. I do not want to die. Can you say what he's been doing for the five years? No, but it's, um, he's still protecting his family and he's still, um, you know, any character that does something you wouldn't expect in their own mind they're justified but there's so much to be revealed to that character to the character too I mean, we don't know what's going on and as a cop I'm you know you know or I'm not a cop anymore but you know having that background my character is always investigating I want to know who's responsible for everything and wants to go get him so um. Have the five years changed Matt's priorities or you know general outlook? How he would interact with you know old characters like HRG? How? Uh, I, I'm a, a lot tougher. I'll tell you that. I'm not as tough as I was in Five Years Gone. I mean, in that episode, I was yeah. the head of Homeland Security and I was just a badass kicking, you know, kicking people's asses. But um, you can't escape me. Oh, come on, sit down. <laughs> um, but it's I'm definitely a, a, a darker character form of Matt Park when we first meet. And when he first meets me, you know, the last person he expects to walk in the room is me. And I walk in the room and he knows, game over. And it's a bit of role reversal, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. Because when we first met, I'm, you know, you're strapped to the table and I'm testing you. Yeah. And roles have reversed. And by the way, we don't improv a lot on the show at all. But we found a way to make the scene ten times more interesting and intense because of the history that we have with each other. Uh, both on and off screen. <laughs> We've known each other forever and it was it was awesome to be able to go, wait a minute, what about this and this and this? Because the writers write all these great relationships, but then sometimes they forget just how, how we've known each other and what we've gone through. And it became a really emotional, wonderful scene to act. It was great. Yeah. Jack, how's it feel having the back together? I'm sorry, just being back on the show? Yeah. Oh, with this guy? You're getting back together. Oh, no. You know what? It was... It was, it was really, really cool because um, there was just this history that you don't have to, it isn't implied, it isn't created out of whole cloth. You know, we, we've known each other for a really long time and we had four years of a lot of, a lot of scenes together. We did a lot of the, some of the, the best stuff we had on the show was together. And uh, so it was just, you know, one of us would have an idea for how a moment should play, and the other would just go, yes, 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 that's just it, and they would just do it right. And, and, and Greg has an amazing ability to, it's not even its not even improvising, it's just turning a statement into a question, or turning a question into a statement, and just ch or changing one word here or one word there, and just this little, almost little grammatical changes, which completely... I don't read the script. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, he actually can't read, so we have to do a lot of... Phonetics and, you know, the cue cards and, you know... Uh, no, it's... They've got a little earpiece where they're giving you his... Giving yeah, his we talked about that, though. Like, how much is our character... How much are we supposed to know? 
you know, how much are we not supposed to know? So, like, it's interesting sometimes, like, one episode, or a few episodes I've done where I just read my stuff. But then I realized, wait, I'm supposed to know so much more, so I have to read it. But, you know. Well, and I was involved in everybody's story, so I always that's read true. everything. That's true. That's true. But when we first did the but show. Then I forget it. That's true. They <laughs> wiped your memory. No, we first did the show, we would see each other press stuff like this. We wouldn't work together. And then I'd see Jack and go, hey, how's your show going? Yeah, how's your show? Good. Yeah, good. I'm having a good time. I really like your stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'd say it was crazy. I didn't, I, I didn't have a scene with Allie for three years. And then all of a sudden, we had this big storyline together. But I, three seasons, I don't think I had a single scene with her. Me too. And then the first time my character meets her, she throws me out a window. Oh, <laughs> Thanks well, a lot, Allie. That's pro- probably better you didn't meet earlier. Right. And then that worked so well, we did it on camera. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but I'm Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> No joke too Real cheap, fun. no bit too thin. <laughs> exactly. Anything for a laugh, Grumber. <laughs> Hosting your next Comic Con panel. Now that it's five years later, what can you tell us about the landscape of heroes and uh, what this world looks like now? Uh, the hunters have become the hunted. And that is a, a big turnaround, I think, for the show. Suddenly, the characters that have evolved, we call them Evos, are in trouble and they have to band together or not or you know who are you loyal to where do you you know um, uh, who are you going to band with to protect yourself my character just wants to protect his family I mean ultimately we'll see I'm hoping that's the case I've only done one episode so we'll see yeah but it is it's, it's, it's a very it's a very new world it's, it's paranoid it's dangerous for people with abilities there's a big uh a big event that went very bad, and and people with abilities are just not not safe anymore. And there's there's laws against them, and there's uh, you know, but it's, so it's 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 a dangerous time. It's not like you know in the early days, Matt Parkman go, I think I can read his mind. This is crazy. Or Peter Petrelli goes, I'm floating a foot off the floor. Can I fly? What's going on? It's just that that's not. Real. You still have people who are just discovering their abilities, but more likely you're going to meet someone who knows he has an ability and is trying to keep it hidden or trying to stay safe. That's why this is much more, this season is really more of a thriller. First season of Heroes, everybody had a home, everybody had a family, everybody had a place where they were based. I, I've, in three months, I've done three scenes on the, in the studio. Everything I do is on the run, on location, somewhere outside, or you know, or or, or somewhere. Uh, yeah, know, it's, it's heroes not, not Airbnb. <laughs> it's a it's a heroes bus and truck. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're in Cleveland one day, the next. Hey, day you said it. We got the band back together. <laughs> ah, get the band. Right, thank you guys. Thank, thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thanks.